There are many companies that offer music servers, often based on standard motherboards and run-of-the-mill housings. Inuos is not one of those. They use their own motherboards, housing and firmware, all designed for low noise, both acoustically and electrically. The term music server knows many interpretations. In this case it's a device that can rip CDs, find matching metadata, stores them on the internal hard disk and send the music to a digital to analog converter or network bridge over very clean USB 2 or Ethernet connections. It is available in silver and black. Let's see where it fits in a stereo setup. To start with the Zen needs to be hooked up to the router to connect to the internet. This is to get metadata and use streaming services. It also needs to be connected to a digital to analog converter, DAC for short, over either USB or network cable. The analog output of the DAC is then connected to an amplifier that in turn drives the loudspeakers. If you have an amplifier or receiver with integrated DAC, it can be connected directly to the Zen. A shared volume on a NAS or computer that holds music can be hooked up over the network. Maintenance and settings on the Enuis are done using an internet browser on a computer, tablet or smartphone. For playback of music an app on a tablet or smartphone can be used, on which later on more. The Zen MK3 is elegantly shaped and measures 420 by 370 by 70 mm and weighs a hefty 9 kilos. The three feet on the bottom each have three balls of damping material and are positioned so they dampen vibrations effectively. The front holds only the power button, power light and the slot loading drive. On the rear we find the IEC mains entry plus fuse, the power switch, an HDMI connector for service purposes only, a USB-A for storage media, a USB-A to connect to a DAC, a local area network connector and an audio optimized network connector to feed to a streamer or network bridge. The top plate of the housing has been treated on the inside with damping compound, again to avoid vibrations. Behind the mains connector there is a professional grade mains filter with behind it the voltage selector. In contrast to switching mode power supplies the linear power supplies need a voltage selector. It also needs a large transformer, in this case a toroidal type. The output of the transformer is at lower voltage but still alternating current, AC for short. This printed circuit board holds the components to transform AC into DC direct current as needed by the electronics. In this case the transformer has two separate secondary windings and sets of rectifiers, ultra low noise voltage regulators and Nichicom Muse capacitors. This way there is less chance the electronic noise generated by the computer part of the Zen will pollute the audio related circuits. The motherboard is designed by Inuus and holds the Intel Pentium N4200 quad core CPU situated below a cooling profile. It is almost as powerful as an Intel i3 but has clearly lower power consumption. In these kinds of devices you want a CPU that has just enough computational power. More will only generate extra noise and heat while putting extra strain on the power supply. The RAM is provided by an 8 GB DDR3 low voltage module of which 4 GB is used for RAM playback. Ripping the copying of CDs to a hard disk is done by this TIAC optical drive in a floating rack. Below it the 3.5 inch western digital red hard disk in its own floating rack, again to keep vibrations low. Sizes from 1 TB to 8 TB are available, the review sample came with 2 TB. Let's also mention the isolated network ports to keep the noise level as low as possible. The standard operating system is InuOS 
which is Linux based and uses Logitech Media Server as base for the music cataloging and playing. The in yours HTML user interface looks a lot better, making it clearly more accessible. You access the interface by starting up an internet browser on your computer, tablet or smartphone, type my.inuos.com and select the Zen. Go to the music library and you can choose between listings of artists, albums and genres. The Inuos HTML interface is also needed for disk ripping, import of music files, backup settings, system information and other settings. When you start a ripper you are asked to insert a CD. Then the matching metadata is searched for in FreeDB, MusicBrains, Discos and GD3. When found the ripping automatically starts. In this case the right metadata is found but not the album art. This can easily be corrected in the music library. Go to the album, click change cover and choose one of the options. If the web doesn't have the album art, you can scan or photograph the cover and add it. Ripping is done in either wave or flag. Inuous seems to favor flag in the documentation and I fully agree. The metadata is far more comprehensive and unpacking flag on this machine is effortless. I hear no difference between WAVE and FLAC, which would have been the only reason to use WAVE. Importing music from a USB drive or network share on your computer or NAS happens with a lot of care. Before copying all files are checked for false and unwanted file names, for instance names that start with a space. All popular PCM and DSD file formats are supported, including lossy MP3 and AAC. If you don't have a DSD capable DAC, the Zen can convert DSD to PCM. Automatic backup to a USB drive or NAS is also provided. Subscriptions to streaming services, Tidal, Spotify or Cobus are set here. If you already use streaming equipment, it might be good to know that the Zen can work with Sonos and UPnP equipment too. For day to day use an app on a tablet or smartphone is used and since Inuos is based on the Logitech media server, LMS for short and the server for the Squeezebox streamers, there are many apps around. I have used Squeezepad and iPeng with the Inuos and both work flawlessly. I do prefer iPeng since it offers more options. Another advantage of LMS is that it offers plugins, confusingly also called apps and that add features to LMS. This way could be Spotify and Tidal were added. Using iPeng I could also add the BBC iPlayer and several internet radio apps. Squeezepad costs 5.49 and iPeng 9.99. Search for Squeezebox controller in your app store and you might find other options. Another advantage of using LMS. The Zen MK3 can function as a rune endpoint as can many other players. Just flip a software switch and it changes to rune endpoint. You then need to have a rune core running elsewhere on a computer. Watch my rune ready is not rune video. The internal drive of the Zen can even be used as music source. But tick a box in the same menu and the Zen MK3 becomes a rune core server and player. It only takes a short while and it doesn't need any other interference from the user apart from setting info on where the music is stored and, when appropriate, what streaming service you are subscribed to. You do need to subscribe to Rune or buy the lifetime subscription like you would need for every Rune core setup. Remarkable is that Inuus doesn't use an SSD to run the Rune database on. It runs on a separate partition of the spinning hard disk and is still fast enough to handle the fully loaded 2 terabyte high disk of music on my review sample. At the same time the ripping and copying functionality of the Inuos remains functional. So for slightly over 2000 euros you buy a Rune core computer like Rune's Nucleus with internal storage unlike Nucleus, a clean USB feed to a DAC and a clean Ethernet feed to a DAC, again unlike Nucleus. The last two replace a network bridge and audio router. 
I wouldn't be surprised if the Zen MK3 is going to be discovered as the ideal rune server for music collections up to a few thousand CDs. Only if you plan on heavy DSP work, like upsampling to DSD256, heavy room collection and the like, the Zen MK3 is not for you. The sound quality of a digital feed, in this case USB 2 and Ethernet, is mainly determined by the noise and distortion on the analog square waves that represent the ones and zeros. Watch my video connecting your DAC number 2, how digital can go wrong. This is why so much care has been taken here to keep power lines clean and vibrations low. Mechanical vibrations have impact on components that are microphonic, that behave differently as a result of vibrations. The most sensitive is the crystal oscillator or oscillators that clock the digital signal. To what extent this all affects the analog output of the connected DAC also depends on the input circuits of the DAC. In my case I used the MyTech Brooklyn bridge connected over either USB and the special audio quality Ethernet port. Over USB it gave about the same sound quality as the SOTM SMS200 Ultra Neo. They don't sound fully identical but the difference is extremely small and I don't prefer one over the other. Using the special audio grade Ethernet port hooked up to the network input of the Brooklyn Bridge while having the Zen connected to a home network over the LAN port to a standard router gave about the same quality as when the Brooklyn Bridge is connected to the home network over the AccuFox SE switch. Audio is easily damaged, be it analog or digital. The Zen MK3 is designed to minimize damage and differs there from servers based on normal computer motherboards. It does that extremely well considering the cost. If you want even more, Inuos offers the Zenit MK3 for about 60% higher price. But the Zen MK3 performs rather satisfactory in my setup 1, connected to the Brooklyn Bridge over USB or Ethernet. The LMS based cataloging and playing using the for audio reserves 4GB of RAM as buffer works like a charm and sounds great. The user interface for setup and maintenance is clear and easy. For playing music you have quite some apps available for iOS, Android and Windows 10. But I also see it as a very good Rune core server and player unless you want to freak around with DSP functions. It installs the Rune core for you, rips your CDs, imports your music files safely, stores the music and is dead quiet both acoustically and electrically. Prices start around 2100 euros for the 1 terabyte drive and ends at 2700 euros for the 8 terabyte version. Highly recommended, especially for those that have little affinity with computers. That's it for this week. There will be another video next Friday, as always at 5 pm Central European time. If you don't want to miss that, subscribe to this channel or follow me on the social media, so you'll be warned when new videos are out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Many thanks to all that support this channel financially. It keeps me independent and thus trustworthy. If you also feel like supporting my work, the links are in the comments below this video on YouTube. I am Hans Beekhuizen, thank you for watching and see you in the next show or on the HBproject.com. Whatever you do, enjoy the music.